him. And when I say I'm very close friend, we grew up together, we started our football career together. I know him very well. In fact, like I said, I was his only friend and family member at his wedding. The first wedding, nobody came. Nobody was there. So this is someone I know 100%. The way you all are saying, you know, PT, you know, PT, I, I have eaten on the same table, the same plate with this so-called coyote. Now, this is a man crying out for help. I am, honestly, I am not saying we need to believe. Let him finish, let him finish. Let him talk. Everything Continue, on social media is right. We cannot, based on the fact that we saw some posts about PT did this or Kennedy said this, and we should believe. No. The fact I have to say is this woman, who is his ex wife, has actually brought out his legs. She is actually the one in the middle of all this, being causing this whole issue. How? Husband suspects wife of infidelity. Why? Because possibly there might have been some messages, there might have been some calls. I'm going to give an example when I actually found out where this whole thing started, started coming up. A friend of mine called and said, Kyle Day saw a post of, um, of someone on Snap with his wife and PT. I Spoke, I actually spoke with Kyle Day's family yesterday. Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Continue, continue, continue. Sorry. Where are you I spoke with them today. Now, Kyle Day has not even, this month was the first time Kyle Day is setting his eyes on his mom for the past 17, 18 years. He has not seen his mom. This woman made him believe his mom was a witch. Hey, but how does that concern PT? The, the no, point no, is, please. how it concerns PT? Bro, bro, sorry, don't digress. Go back to the PT issue. Bro, let me ask you a question. Have you seen any evidence? Or you're just, you're just, because you know, you know the kind of the guy, and you're kind of wanting to speak for him. Have you seen anything to say, this is true? Oh, this is not true. You are just no, no. It is the same way you, you, you are also coming to speak for PT. You said you know him. I am coming to speak for Kyle Day. I know, and my reason is because and I love the fact the, that the you are speaking for your friend. The call, oh, no, no, no. Aside that, the calls that were made at midnight, the messages that were sent at midnight, it might just be an innocent call between who, please. I, be specific between, 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 one, between, between Dora and PT. Okay. It might just be an okay, innocent yes, call. You're not helping yourself. Point here. My point he here doesn't is, know. He doesn't know. He's just. Let, no, no, no. Let him talk. Let him talk. No, no, no. Because, I don't know, because when Remy was speaking, Remy was speaking fact. And the way you were speaking, you were 100% sure that PT can't be doing that such a thing, which is not possible. Because I know the man. I in fact, he's guilty or not. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. But the way we are portraying it is like he is this innocent person. He he can never do this. No. Okay. That, okay. That, if I have okay. to come out, I don't need to expose myself, to be honest. With what I know and what I've heard, I have some kind of evidence on my phone too. But I don't need to bring it up. But why, what I actually came to say, because it's looking like the video is actually on one side. Everybody saying nice things about PT. Yes, PT is good. I'm not, I'm not God. I'm not an angel. You know? But then, we, the way we are portraying is like, he, what they are accusing him of, he cannot be wrong for it. Yes, accept that. We do not have evidence against him. We do not have a fact against him. But then, the issue here is, how do we help this man that is in, that's already in a huge problem? He's about to lose all his properties. If he hasn't lost everything already bro. and it's bro. coming for one person Guy, can, bro, are, bro, bro, can, I, can I say something bro, wait, bro, no, bro, I'll let you talk let me just say one sentence okay with what you have said so far on one breath you are saying you have zero evidence 
Then on another breath, you're also fighting for your friend. Then in the middle, which is it? Because I don't understand how you exactly. can be fighting for your oh, friend that is no, right. No, no. Let, let, let me say something. Let me say something. My dear brother, I appreciate you today. Thank you very much. What you are doing for your friend, Kayode, is what I am doing for my friend, PT. When it comes to evidence, I can call PT out if I see evidence. I have PT's number. number. So, Do you understand what, what I'm you? telling you? So, we are saying the exact same thing. There is, Remy, have I called you at midnight before? Uh, no. Midnight? Yes, you have. If I've not called you back midnight, I've called Samaria. Yes, I've you have. Called, uh, Blessing, I've called the blessing. Now, have I ever called your video call and I'm not wearing shirts? Yes, you have. Baba, if you call me now on video call, even my sister, I they run around the wear shirt. So, what if Remit screenshots one day and said I was talking to Daddy Freeze at midnight? So, you see, those talks alone, they might sound suspicious to someone who does not know the person. I'm never going to say Pity is a saint. I'm not Nobody. a saint. Victor is not a saint. Nobody but does that. In um, this particular matter, I can tell you to the best of my knowledge that there is no chance from my understanding of this matter that Pity had anything to do with her intimately, from my opinion. Now, let me let you see. I like the fact that you are not inside. One thing, Baba, I, I don't expect say you go get sense like this. So. I expect say you be one of these internet mumu. I respect you today. And why do I respect you? You did not jump into the arena. Is yeah. there a possibility to Kayode that Pity had something to do with his wife? To him, yes. To me, from my from where from I'm where, looking. Where we are looking at it. No. Oh, and, see, so bro, him, yes. bro, bro, we are. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what I would say that would probably make sense to you? There's always something called revise. Today we have not seen any evidence, and the pity we know we are saying he cannot. Tomorrow, if evidence now come out, everybody is now allowed to adjust their stand. Does that make Thank sense? Thank you. Does that okay? Does that it, make it, sense? It, it makes sense. But can I can I can I say something? Let's okay. hear him. Initially, okay. Um. There have been some videos and voice notes. In quotes, there are people that can actually forge voice notes and give you fake evidence to just bring out someone, to just expose someone who is not actually guilty. But you asked Remy a question. You said, have I called you at social time? She said, yes. PT could actually be a free person. I don't know him. But I know Kayode 100%. Now, you know Remy very well. I don't know if she's married or in a relationship. If I personally, as a, a man, I believe every man, every man is going to be here. If I am in a relationship with her and you're calling at and like odd hours, I, I for sure, what happened between Kayode, Dora, and Pity is not just a month thing, it has been happening for a very long time. There must, there Put must a have... time frame to it. How long do you think that I have been a church member has gone on for? Okay, uh, Pity, I'm sorry. I would do. I'm so sorry. I wouldn't want to go into this. I, I, I have, I have my reasons for saying I don't want to be specific about the time frame. But looking at what happened, I'm sorry. I can come to you later and then send you messages and then tell you. But on live here, I don't want to. Like really come out to something, but what I'm trying to say is, looking at what happened, he must have been warning her about the late night calls, which she did not adhere to. She did not listen until it escalated to this whole. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, you want to say something, sir? Yes, I want to say something. I didn't want to interrupt you. Okay. Now. Let me put a point to you. I'll put it to you that when a marriage is in trouble, parties in that marriage will be acting deviant. Like, for instance, if I've been in relationships before, when you are 
the marriage is, is about to scatter, wants to scatter. You go, they call people, they confide in them. And it will not just be one, one person. You are going to have some male confidence. You are going to have some female confidence. You are going to have your pastor on one side. You are going to have your family members on one side. I don't know if, if, if what I'm saying is making sense. So, yes, I understand so you. When marriage don't reach, like now, I can tell taste buds not to call anybody. But if the marriage don't spoil, where are you coming from? What's your business, me? So we need to establish that from the look of things, the marriage contract between Dora and uh, Coyote, to my understanding, was already on a very shaky foot. Okay. I, because of what you just said now, okay, I'm going to give you a point of something that happened eight years ago eight nine years ago i was there me dora and coyote okay, okay. coyote was about to step out he was about to leave the house we i came back from, i came back to nigeria he also came back we came to whatever we came to do like usual footballers break and then he was about to leave the house and dora his dora's mom woke her up and said wake up your husband is leaving the house then she woke up and asked, where are you going? She said, he said, uh, me and Alex wants to, want to take a walk. She refused. She said, no, you're not going anywhere. Now, I, I, I told her, I'm coming to This is what happened. I, I'm coming. And I said, okay, listen, listen to your wife. She said, you're not going anywhere. Stay home. Then Coyote went outside to make a call. And she got angry. And it was a huge fight. She broke the TV that night. Kaude left the house on purple, like angrily to go and lodge in a hotel. I sent him back home. I slept in that hotel. I sent him back home. Now, the same Dora did the same exact thing. Was on a call with a strange guy that she claimed was her cousin. And I heard that the guy wasn't her cousin. Now, you said something now. The marriage must have been shaken. Initially. Do you agree that? No, the I marriage agree. was shaky already. That's why I said eight, nine years ago. Yes. So eight, eight nine years ago, the marriage done they spoil the now, my, my point, my point here is, my point here is, Pastor Pity could, could actually be, might have been, the only person that she calls, and she gets, she feels better. He t he tells her the exact thing she wants to hear for her sanity to come back, but then. What hours, when, how has this cause been made? Have there been any time where he called or she called and this had to cause a problem between the both parties, I mean, Kyle Day and Dora? Because if, I believe if I'm married and I'm speaking to a woman at odd hours, my wife is not comfortable with it, regardless of whatever I want to say, that call has to wait until morning. You can't tell I'm not to speak to my pastor in the morning. Is okay in the midnight? Okay, fine. Is in the night? Okay, I don't need to speak to him. But when it's daytime, I need to speak, and then I have to be um, transparent at the calls I'm making. You see, my brother, you are making a lot of sense. My only fault is once marriage don't scatter reach one level, it go enter that agidi. You cannot tell me who to talk to and when not to talk to them. You cannot tell me, I am, I am, I, I am divorced. Baba, when my divorce won't happen, I know they know where my ex is. She will just show up for house. But you see, in as much as at that time, I used it against her, in hindsight, the, we had gotten to a place so toxic that this same thing where they talk, me and my ex fight about him. See, why are you calling a man at midnight? My problem is, once marriage don't decay, reach one certain level, from what what moral ground can you now tell one of the parties let me be honest with you from looking at this i put it to you that dora was only in the marriage because of the children if they had no children at that eight years ago seven years ago nine therefore don't separate they had uh, in fact i have pictures of me and his first son i think this whole i i, I don't know with what i heard i think the whole marriage thing actually got into when she got pregnant for when she had the first son 
that was when because she already had him before the first marriage she already had Jaden. that's the first son's name Jaden. she already had Jaden before the so obviously like you said you're right that if there were no kids this might have not lasted but my my own point is i am not trying to be biased here because i don't i don't want us to deviate from the exact thing that is happening for me i just i i, I am not saying what uh my brother sorry brother i don't know what your name is and uh, my sister the point is i don't want us to see it like um because it is someone we know as i as i'm here th there was it some there was something that happened a few years back me and Kyle was going to fight on the main road he was driving because this same woman made him believe his mother was a witch and i told him bro you are made you are, your wife's family are enjoying your wife's mom the brother everybody's enjoying i was the only person at your wedding the only family member your brother your cousin your sister it was me when they called family member i was the only one that stood up the person that represented him as his father was coach john obu and i told, told him can you kindly let's go and see your mom he told me if i repeat that he's going to slap me i was driving and i parked the car i told him come down if you have the balls let's fight i'm telling you first to go and see your mom he refused i'm telling you Kyle, they said setting his eyes on his mom after 18 years this month so my point is if something like this is happening if i be if i'm in past uh, past uh, pastor toby's shoes honestly speaking i would have had more conversation with coyote more than the wife as a pastor i'm sorry i'm not accusing him of anything why reason being your wife is complaining to me countless times what is going on i want to see both of you i want to speak to the both of you what exactly is happening i am not comfortable with the way your wife is calling me at odd hours at midnight letting me know you are doing this and you do that because Kyle Day is actually close to pity as well he is close to pity so if he is that close i for me what i feel from my own point of view, if i was to be in pastor pity's shoe i would say uh, sorry pity's shoe i would say okay listen i need both of you to come and see me they are capable of traveling never before then this issue i am very sure it wouldn't have gotten to this and a woman that is not faithful it wouldn't be on just one man can i can i say something can I ask a yes, question? sorry Vic. let me raise hand first after that you'll go oh, okay. um you have spoken wisely brother um we heard a video i heard a voice note of pete actually talking to coyote now um in relationships i am closer to remy than to some male members of the free nation i am closer to victor than you see in a relationship between a pastor and especially in a divorce situation it is hard for you to be completely unbiased there will always be someone that is suspecting you there will always be be someone that you are leaning closer to because of proxy i'm not saying it is right or wrong i'm just trying to put myself in this situation because I've, i'm i don't know are you married me yes no i'm not married no. okay uh, uh i've been divorced before i was married before divorced before and then i entered another marriage you understand what i'm saying so I have seen all, I've seen the stage where husband and wife are like this. Let me tell you something here. My mom had issues with my ex. And you know my mom, my mom now, Ibo, my mom knows a bit talk. You understand? Oibo no, the, Oibo no get that, uh, you know, after that, my father, my father no talk pim now until the day. Divorce happened, my father begin to tell me on side. Pim, my father no talk. That's the guy you want to marry? Okay, no problem. My mother, on the other hand, did not like her for one whatever reason, and my mother spoke it out. Do you know my ex 
held that against my mother throughout the marriage. My <laughs> ex's mother too, may her soul rest in peace, did not particularly like me for one or two reasons and spoke out. I also held it against her. So there was a time in my former marriage when both mothers were not allowed to enter our house. Am I making sense to you? Mm -hmm. Now, you see, when in a marriage, especially when you are married to somebody who seems like he's making a lot of money, the typical Nigerian mentality is to protect yourself inside the marriage. If person look like you don't know what transpired, I was not there. You don't know what transpired between the mother of Coyote and Dora. For, for Dora to say, your mother must be a witch. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm telling you? I'm not saying they never met. what he did. They I'm never not saying met. what he did. They never met. They no. You see, my problem is we don't know. We are assuming. Do you understand? That's why I said we don't. I can tell you my story because it happened. I remember that they were driving to UI Gate when I informed my mom that my ex was pregnant. And my mom, Yari, said, No. She said something along the lines of, Not this girl. Which wasn't really fair to my ex because at that particular point, my ex had not really done anything. And my ex held that against my mom. Do I blame her? No. So you see, the older we get, the more we see real life situations, the more we understand that it, the right thing to do for pity was to counsel both of them. And like you said, lean more towards the husband. But um, we don't know the specifics of details. this particular situation. Exactly. And that was why I wanted to no, ask no, a question. No, no, no. They, they, now, now we are saying exactly. But initially, what the conversation I was that I was having here was Pastor Pete is this, Pete is this, P is that, is that. My point is, we were not trying to be be, be neutral about it. But we're now that we brought you, you have brought that neutrality. Because at the end of the day, let me tell you something here. Eh? The way they've been dragging PT online over this matter, um, you go think, say that eight years wrong. ago, where they're quarreling now, it's because you quarrel. So oh, you, are, you agree that it is wrong? No, no, you can't. It is wrong. Biblically and according to the law, it is wrong for you to accuse someone when you do not have a fact. You, don't, you do not have to accuse someone when you, based on what you just see. But my point is. On the other hand, let us not write off the guy that is the victim here. Eh, eh, let's change that. Mm. One of the victims, because you see, in a divorce, both people are yes. victims. Yes. One, one might be less victim than the other. You see, what, what I would have advised is everybody sheath their swords and let us allow this case to go to trial. And, and then let us be presented with evidence in full. And then we can say who the victim is. Because once you say Kayode is the victim, then Dora looks like the perpetrator. Oh and then the blame is shifted to pity. And that's why I'm here. Because the pity way I know, to the ex little extent I know him, will not do the things I'm seeing on social media. Um, just to I'm add to what you said. Sense. Bro, let me ask this brother just one question. I want him to you come, may... come back. Please well, come back, dear brother. Is he gone? He Oh, okay. He, can you still see him? I can't see him anymore. I can't see him again. No. I can't see him. He will, he will send a message. I know his name is Alex. The question I wanted to ask was... Um, and I knew and to be honest, Vic, before you say anything, I really like this Alex guy. Nigerians, yeah, yeah. we get sense. We the worker for road. Yeah, he came, he, came, he came correct and he see, did the I same thing. He, he made sense. He made us see his side of the argument. He did not come accusing PT. No, he didn't he accuse he Peter. He, he, tried, he, have he said he doesn't he have proof. So but now I'm listening to him. He's making sense. I'm, I'm, I'm understanding the right, argument he's bringing from. forward. Yeah. The regular person, listen to what the regular person will type on a post I put of PT. You do, Abi, you know, do. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you have a conversation with somebody whose head is buried in the mud? Someone said you can't vouch for your child, 100%. Yeah, but, but you still, see, you're still allowed they, to... see. That's... If they call Simply Vic now, hold on. If, if police call Simply Vic that, 
we saw that he frees stealing not even stealing um, using drugs so, you yeah, you know, so if i come and defend I, you people will not say why am i defending yeah, you that is the, so, when, what i came here to vouch for me a hundred percent you can at least to an extent lend credence to the character to my character that you've been exposed person, to whether loyal Loyalty or not, let's leave loyalty aside now. If you know somebody very well, and this is out of character, are we not allowed to still come here and say, wait a minute, this person that I know cannot do this? That's why I said, if Look there are not this person they talk, well, but no. you are here supporting someone in another country. Are we up, Bonusha? Yes, come in. What is it? the question I wanted to ask that brother, bro? You want to come and do here? Start. Sorry, I'm listening. Yeah, the question I actually wanted to ask him was he, he said that um, I think the last thing, one of the things he said earlier was PT is, or uh, the guy is very close to PT. So I wanted to find find out from him does he know when their relationship, I mean, PT and the guy, the guy, when do this thing went uh, out? Yeah. yeah, so I wanted to find out the time frame. And I also like last... to say something a lot of Nigerian wives are calling their pastors at midnight and past midnight whether we want to accept it or not because when they have a bad dream or they want to do midnight prayer they Wait, call I'm, their pastor whether it's Sorry, me... female pastor or male pastor yeah, let me please let me quickly remember. one guy said Vic, people change trust nobody uh william ayomide see we all know this people change but if somebody comes to you and tell you your brother just stole and you know your brother is not a thief are you going to say he stole or you're going to say wait a minute my brother is not a thief and stand with him do you get where we are coming from now we're not saying people don't change that's not the discussion here we're not Hello. saying um it's only uh, Hello, don't... Hello. so we should Hello. be able to speak for ourselves if you know somebody very well there's nothing wrong with that so the thing like let me just come in there sorry to interrupt you so the yeah, thing yeah, that okay. I found, and i i actually joined the live a little bit late but when i joined the live i realized that um yourself vic and remy i think that's your name sis mm -hmm. um you were both quite adamant that um pt hasn't done anything now yeah there's a possibility that he hasn't done anything and for us to be really open-minded so you see that guy previously he was very open-minded he was stating the fact that okay his um colleague stroke friend had this notion and yeah it might be true it might not be true but i feel like um i'm so sorry my my kid is being very noisy in the background so oh, it's all right. i feel like you you both were not necessarily very open-minded in what you were you were outrightly beating your chest and saying that no pity hasn't done this pity hasn't done that and that and you're probably right but i think in order to, to have in order to be you know to be neutral because when stories like this come out in as much as the, the whole world the whole of instagram wants to jump on it and and pick a side and blame somebody it's very important that we do yeah you know him that's fine that's good but you have to be neutral because really and truly you know his good characters but you don't know him i don't want to be neutral in this case no, do you, you know why wait, wait let me tell you let me tell you where you i stand i am saying that i have i have refused to focus on whatever negatives that people have to say about him now whether it is true yeah. what they're saying in this case whether it is true or not i don't really care because nobody is perfect and i said i am not perfect either mm -hmm. i don't care mm -hmm. right they can sort that out between themselves however i am grateful for the life that he has touched and that he has changed right and i am grateful Grateful that he has empathy. I have seen him do a lot of wonderful things for people that have brought tears to my eyes. And because of that, I stand by him. Now, if I know Kayode, and I've seen mm. the good works that Kayode has done too, then I can be neutral and say, oh, okay, well, um, I hope that they settle this. Oh, do you understand? I may not be able to take his side. 
Yeah, what but then case, I am taking his side. No, Can but I just then it's, it's 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 a good thing to be behind him. It's a good thing to say, you know what? Regardless of what you've done, regardless of the mistake that you've made, I support you. But you still don't see when our kids do things and they yes you support that child because my there's nothing that my child would do that i would not support them but i will still make sure that i let that child know that That's what you've children. done is different. can i can i keep it can i come no, can i come no, 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 you cannot sister, can i can i say something please? and not let sister, the adult know that what they've done can i say can i say yes, something but you have to still draw that line and say right is right yeah. and wrong is wrong. Yeah, sister, can no, I say, no. listen, can I say sister, bro, can please, I say no, no, no. Let me quickly say before oh, you yeah. say, please, please. what is just, mine is very simple. I'm not even going on the, I'm not towing the line of what he has done, what he has not done. I have come to know the man very well. And this is me, forget loyalty or anything else. This is me telling you in public that I believe he hasn't done anything wrong. And I will not even come online, even if he has done something wrong, to now start bashing him and throwing him out of the bus. I will not do that. I can no. pick a phone and chastise him one on one. Okay. Do you get what I mean? Where I'm coming Absolutely. from? That's the kind of relationship I have with him. So I'm not going to do what everybody is doing. Okay. I'm not cloud chasing. I don't care about Instagram. I don't care about stuff like that. I can call him one on one and tell him, bro, you know, try. If I found that I did it, but I'm not going to come online. There's no evidence I did anything now. So Absolutely. my place is to fight for him right now. And there's nothing wrong with that. If he now, if we find out later that he really did those things, yes, we cannot meet. Through, I know where his house is. I can go there and we'll talk one-on-one. -on -one, and he will get it from me. Do you get I'm not going to come along and can, join I, I a think you can fight for him and be sensitive to other people, though. I never, see, I never no, chastised no, no, Kanade. No, I never on. said anything negative hold about on. him. I did not say anything. Uh, hold on. My sister, yeah. Um, as far as I'm concerned, and you can't call me by ass because I've given, I've given the examples. I'm close enough to PT to be able to make some deductions about his lifestyle. I know what I'm privy to, and that's why I, I said, from my standpoint, my personal opinion. I think there's a zero chance PT did it. My standpoint. Now, you don't have to have that standpoint. And I don't blame you if you don't, because you might not have the proxy I have. Yeah. However, in the light of the evidence provided, there is positive of concrete evidence. There is positive of anything that we can hold on to that is beyond any reasonable doubt. Now, let's remember that adultery is a civil, not a criminal case. Mm -hmm. And in a civil case, you must prove beyond reasonable doubt. Let me ask you a question. If PT and this woman and this coyote guy go to court with the facts that are before the social media who do you think will win to be quite honest i i what i did hear a voice note but i really couldn't tell who that who what who, who it was on that voice note because listen to the content of that voice did you listen note. to what well, the guy left said. to be honest there was nothing for me there was nothing incriminating on that voice note it was basically him saying did you get some balloons or something like that that was did you get what did you hear what his friend that came on the guy that I just did. said did, you I heard did. that he yeah. said he has some voice notes and he has some text messages and blah 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 on his phone and he doesn't think that it's anything you heard, Honestly, you heard him say that honestly speaking i don't i personally don't think it's anything and that's just because i i, I I don't like to, unless I see like full evidence, I really need to see that it, white is white and red is red before I would say, okay, yeah, this person did it. I like to always have an open mind about things. And I don't personally think that, and you're right, you know, I see the things I see of Pastor Toby are just on social media. And very correctly, he, for me, he can have any woman he wants. He doesn't necessarily, he doesn't have to be this married one. So I don't necessarily think that there's anything 
there. I can honest, I can understand that, as you said, that if it's, if there was already rocks in the marriage, then it's not going to sit well with the husband if the wife is calling this pastor friend uh, at midnight. I mean, I'm sure even the pastor Vic at night. Object, Vic at night talk at midnight. To... Vic, have we, have we not spoken at midnight? Before? Many times. Many, many, many times. times. And he's married. You know what I not said married. against, what, what I had to say against that when the other gentleman spoke i said that when a marriage has broken down you you no longer have the control to tell your partner who to talk to who not to talk to when to talk to them when not to talk to them where to go or where not to go those are the framed benefits of a marriage that is still in order the mm -hmm. moment you see and and this brings us to the hypocrisy in nigeria i said this five years ago if they let people divorce marriages easier then we will not need to go on a smear campaign so that i can come out and and he looks like he's the one that is mad or i can come out and make it look like oh she's a prostitute if it were easier to just i'm tired of this marriage this marriage is not working this is a toxic relationship i don't want to do again then it will not they will not need to go to the because right now it looks like everybody wants to make themselves look i'm not the bad one no i was yeah. minding my business yeah do you understand what i'm but i can tell you for free that once a marriage has degenerated you will not be able to tell you i can tell taste boards who to call and not to call because she would respect me to do it not because i can put i can enforce it i don't know if you physically force her to do i just have to tell her that i don't like this and because she loves me and does not want me to be upset she will not do it not because if she decides to be mad one day and does it there's anything i can do <laughs> so people need to understand that a marriage that is 100 percent in order you cannot compare it to a marriage that has deteriorated the guy who came here said eight years ago they had a, qu a quarrel and television was broken mm. eight years ago that is toxicity i personally just believe that unfortunately it seems like um pastor toby is now collateral damage <laughs> i think that you know the marriage was already on its way out and it's just very unfortunate but but the point that i was trying to make with the, you know the whole let's just try and be objective here like i said i do believe that that um pastor toby is collateral damage but let's not you know i i just got the sense of you know trying to you know um hold day out for whatever he's done obviously he's hurting and unfortunately for him you know it happens to be that maybe pastor toby is the only person that his wife is in constant communication with you know at odd hours where that where he's seen and has clear evidence of this communication like that guy said it might be very innocent but you know when a when a guy is freaking out about the possibility of his marriage ending and everything he's not seeing the innocence in their conversation he's seeing that listen this man is trespassing by talking to my partner at this time so he's totally totally you know in a different zone right now and it will be very wrong of us to come out and say well pastor toby's innocent for me i feel like pastor toby could have helped the situation by not having conversations at certain times i mean he's don't know be that you don't you know what you, we don't have no, but even pastor facts. toby's wife will not be happy with him having conversations with female you red, don't especially know when you that. know that, that when, woman, DF, when df calls I'm me married, when df calls yeah? me and uh, this but sometimes is dead if my it's away husband as as secure as i am in my marriage if my husband is having conversation with his female friend or his female colleague that they are ma his, that her marriage is on on rocks at midnight i'm gonna have a problem with that that is you it, 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 no, it's, it's not, not like that with everyone and your husband me. is not it's, a pastor no do you understand not, wait sis. Not, are you I understand where you're 
pastors are, from. are you trying to tell me that all pastors are righteous men or you know pastors are not men of course they're men and at midnight for god's I sake am, if you're having a conversation that. with a woman who is in her ha who is in her room she's settled she most likely will be you know, settled enough to even want to have pillow talk with pastor before remembering the fact you that... You don't know that. You don't know that. But you don't know that. You don't know that. You don't There's know a possibility. That. Um, I think that... Let me say something. Happen. Go ahead. Uh, in a civil case, somebody said, you, have, you don't have to prove beyond reasonable doubt. Yeah, you have to prove... The, on the balance of probabilities, not beyond yes. reasonable doubt. That's what somebody suggested. Okay, thank you for that information. Um, we appreciate that. We appreciate that. Okay, so... Um, somebody said something to... I, I want as many of the comments as possible. So we can all... As, as Love you. What he said as abc Coyote's wife. as in will, will you have counsel marriage counseling in the middle of the night it doesn't that that part it, it like, won't work well with any woman Coyote's wife who is a friend of daddy freeze benefited from the marriage because she took all the wealth for herself now she wants to end the marriage and freeze is aware of this you know go better for your papa <laughs> where do i know Coyote's wife from that we are friends <laughs> now that one they pay you that they, pay. they don't abuse me tired for you they say no I, I agree no, we get I accept. let me they say we are doing the do thank you i agree i accept now i need I to, also, to also establish something i need to also establish something you see, i do not i do not uh counsel at midnight <laughs> you understand but the problem is, should the need arise? Let's couple. Imagine Remy got married. Re you know, there was a time Ibiri, God bless you. There was a time I was going to say something yeah. in her relationship. Me, you, and a it was 2 a.m. Okay, but then that is free. But then that is free. You said, hold on. Now, now, because what if I decided to talk to a BRA alone? The only reason why Remy was there was because we're talking about something else and we called the Ibiri, if I remember no, you call, the fact of... No, you called the Ibiri first and then you added me. Then I added Remy to the call. God bless you. So, sometimes we need to understand that. I don't see why I need anybody's permission to oh. talk to a member of mine. I'll be sneaky about about it what for you don't understand what i'm saying when there is nothing to hide I have a point and you see there's the problem with decency is decency is very very subjective okay. if you what my mother will call a decent dress is different mm -hmm. from what i will call a decent mm -hmm. dress and it's different from what my 10 year old daughter will call a decent dress but if they tell all of us to enter a shop and pick a decent dress, we will pick exactly what we think is decent. My mother will never agree that what my daughter picked is decent. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. So when decency, yes, to the large majority of people who are watching, a pastor should not counsel a married lady at midnight. But when you find yourself in situations and the people trust you, and Bro. people have no one else to go and, to. And the midnight thing, what time zone? You are you are always up like 2 a.m., which is Nigerian time. You're talking to somebody in America that is like 9 a.m. So what are you guys on about? Plus, what the, it depends on when the person is even available. Hey. What what time the person is available? I'll call Remy live on video call. She will pick from the shower. You'll see only her face. Daddy, please, I'm taking a shower. Let me get dressed and come. No, but I think so, so from what I can deduce, you and Remy are friends, right? Daddy Freeze. Yes. Right. So were these two people friends? They, they were. Oh. With the husband too. I, I don't know the 
I don't know the ABC of this. The only That's thing what I to ask the guy. If they are friends, but then but then their boundaries, you know, their boundaries. That's what I think. their boundaries are subjective. What I would consider for instance, would your husband allow a man to massage you? I mean, if the person is a masseuse and oh. I mean a ma massage. Oh. Some husbands won't allow it. I will not allow there a man to massage his wife. We'll go, that will go burn down that massage parlor. I won't let a man massage so for me either. It's a boundary issue. For your husband, it's well but, okay. But that's it's the same. You know, that's There's so many things that are that's subjective. Said it is subjective. But would you, you know, a preference rather than a boundary? Somebody said, Kyle Day is but not okay boundaries. with side calls in his marital affair. My question is, if Kayode's marital affair was already toxic eight years ago, mm. what was he expecting now? And that's the thing you need to understand. Once, let me tell you, once married, don't scatter reach one side. Everybody will take sides. You, maybe you've been through a divorce. God bless you. You know, before they'll be begging the two of you, they'll be begging the two of you. Ah, hey, they shared it. It'll get to a stage like this. Once it's set like this, the people that are following your husband will follow him. The people that are following you will follow him. And you will see members of your family that will follow your husband. And you see members of your husband's family that will follow you. And they will take sides, whether you like it or not. Do you understand? So by the time the marriage don't toxic reach one level, lines have been drawn. It is only normal for pity to take the side of the person that was closest to him at that point. But do you not? feel because like you made this statement earlier on actually and i was like well as a as a pastor or as a person of you're supposed to be neutral in this situation you cannot be seen to take sides uh, no no you can't as a person of cloth, you know what, you what the bible says take, listen, the bible says you might, you might be told if you are lukewarm, i will spit you out you see sometimes in life in a situation you can't be neutral some situations it's like peter are you with christ or not he said no he did not say he was neutral he wanted to save his head he said no mm -hmm. that's do you understand what i'm telling you you see when it comes to matters like this we that's what i'm saying we have a paucity of information we don't know exactly what transpired mm -hmm. we can presented mm -hmm. before the media and I have an edge over you guys because apart from the fact that we all see in the media, I have a one-on-one -on -one with this person and I can make my own deduction. You see, it is right for the pastor to speak with the woman at certain hours. But I will tell you from my experience in marriage, once marriage, in, Remy, imagine you're going through a divorce now. You will call me at 2 a.m. Yes, if the need arises, if you, I will. I don't pick a call, you will call Vic. Mm -hmm. And once me and you are talking, I want to know what the update is. How far? What happened? What, what happened? Okay, what is it? What does he want? Do you understand? It will always get to a point where you will have to pick a side. I've been through a divorce before. And I know sometimes, there, sometimes some marriages are broken, but they are living together. So in those situations... A respectful husband will just leave his wife if she's doing whatever she likes. He will leave. But you see, once in on the go, where are you coming from? Where I want to know where you are coming from. For marriage, where will not they borderline to scatter? You understand what I'm telling you? I don't dance, I don't see marriage where wife use police arrest husband before. Until she won't establish say the husband, they get problem. So the marriage has got to, let me tell you, marriage has brought it to a point where they call gathering of evidence. Mm. Mm. That's it. At that point, it's dangerous. Everything you see and do, the other party will gather it as evidence. So, the one sure I will serve. I don't know if you speak Yoruba. No, I don't. But do, I still, I, 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 I don't think that Pastor Toby did himself any favors by his actions. And you know, this is in hindsight. Obviously, he did what he had to do at the at that time because he felt it was right. I personally don't think he should have taken sides, number one. I think that, yes, you can so help both parties. So he took sides. He could just so did not hear when the guy said yeah. that he had him, that or DF said there's a, there's a voice note of uh, Pastor Toby talking to the husband. You're quite sure about him not, you know, or taking sides with the wife. I just said that 
you know, he was public. Pastor Toby, talk to this husband. Talk, talk, talk. The guy no agree here word. Yeah, but then, but then at that, but at that point, if the guy no agree here words, that's fine. <laughs> you still, um, you still, you 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 still handle the situation with caution. You don't say, you know, I've tried, and this husband is. You still have to because as a person of cloth, what are you? What what was your? What was his purpose there? Was his purpose to say, okay, they're going for a divorce. Let me hold the hand, the wife hand through the divorce, or was his purpose to find a common ground? Because if it was to find a common ground, then you cannot find a common ground by taking sides. In Nigeria, he, once very, don't read whether they did divorce. There is no common ground on our war zone. No. <laughs> but unfortunately, these people don't live in Nigeria. No, they live. Neither. Sorry, the the, 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 the father is in Nigeria. But from the uh, the letters, I think at least. The 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 uh, Coyote guy and uh, Dora. I think they live in from from the stuff I've been reading. I think they live in Nigeria. I didn't get that. I didn't get that. Um, I, and I, they I, have but, been a relationship through memo. What do you mean? But you see, let me let me let's let's, let's end it here. Uh, at, at the end of you, the day, guys, that have the right. Out at any time what do you mean bluetooth they can fly in and fly out anytime listen i don't believe that there was any relationship i agree i think that unfortunately pastor toby is collateral damage and the guy is gonna milk it for all his worth because obviously pastor toby doesn't quite have a very good track record so everybody is gonna be on have a bad track record with women no no no, no i didn't say with I didn't. I didn't specify which yeah. record okay. so you need to be specific then saying, because generally I see him as a very Commercial pastor, then I will and steal money. Now, everybody's gonna be on it like pastor fly and has it and is sweet and clean when it comes to women. Okay, okay, but for every other thing, he's quite very controversial. And he when it's controversial that, for the message he preaches, but then think about it. If anything comes out about someone who is deemed controversial, what do you think is gonna happen? Everybody because why don't you with regards to women? I've never, I've read all sorts of things about PT. I've never read anything. Yes, that me too. No, like I said, I've not specified. You know, are more which record about I'm saying and PT and women. <laughs> I'm just saying generally. Is what you know that he frees. You know. He is controversial he is controversial about his lifestyle about his message not about women people have brains in no one I, i've never heard anything about him and women, a woman before but i'm just saying if there's any stain or if there's any you know thing that people don't agree with when especially when it comes to a man of god everybody would would jump on it and that's exactly what, what what is going on now with the fact that okay, it's a pastor and it's a woman. Oh, oh. What about the paternity fraud? I've put hundred thousand naira down. If you can prove that it is pity that has those children, come on, and and, the, and and the lady has even you know said that the the there's no there such thing. Any test this week? Said there's there's no such thing, you know? Nigeria, eh? we have a bunch of people online that are extremely senseless. Once they have agreed in that they are pea brain. One way traffic. This is the answer. Then if you know grip, just remember how obedience handled the last election. One way traffic. One way traffic me. Mm -hmm. if, even if they later bring up proof that PT didn't do anything with this woman and that Kayo Day owns the kids, believe it or not, they will still bring it up in five I, years. Wait, I have a question as well. Why yeah. is it, why is it sorry? Sorry, can I just quickly land? Like why, is it, why is it not okay? Sorry. What you guys now? Why is it not okay for us or anyone to come online and speak on behalf of someone? So you, people always think when you do that, you're being paid. Or like one idiot wrote that pastor took, took, took me to a restaurant I can't afford and all that. So I've been paid and that's why I'm speaking on it. We are like... Exactly. You read all these things and you're thinking, are you this stupid? Someone even said I'm in love with pity. Let me tell you something. My sister, please, what is your Talia. name? Talia. Talia. 
if I know you to be a good person, and then you are in a situation like this where everyone is coming for you, me, Remy, I will defend you. My friends know that about me. I will come out and defend you, and I don't care what people. That's what I said. Say. I will defend you. If I, I find out that you are goofy later, I will talk to you, you one understand? on one. I would rather I do that, that kind of person. than join the bandwagon. Then we all are throwing you under the bus. Because who I know you to like be that? a yeah, because you are my friend and I know you to be a good person. If you're yeah. not a good person, I might not be able to come out and defend you. I know that's why they say neutral. loyalty. Loyalty is understand? very scarce. You don't you don't need to be disloyal because you don't like someone. Do you understand? Like Yes, you but might because, not like what the person represents, but yes. you don't know anything. Then don't just but throw them under the bus. Talia, are you are not there, and people are saying all horrible things about you. Believe it or not, I will stand by you and I will defend you. My friends know that about me. All right? Yes, anybody so, can see. No, we are not saying Pastor Toby is a saint or no. Oh, that's not what we are no, saying. Probably, probably did it. Oh, I didn't do it. But I don't know. You don't know. We are all just here speculating. Yes, we don't but know. But the guy that I know so far, as of now, this moment, I can't see him do doing it because he's not part of his character that I know. So I'm allowed to speak on that. I'm allowed to speak for that. I, than... I, think, so I think where I kind of like was like, whoa, you know, is that you both, you were both like, you know, 100% hand on heart say that no 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 we didn't we didn't exactly say we so didn't say i'm just saying the guy that i know will not do it and i also said if you remember if i find out tomorrow that he did it i will be the first i will call but i'm not gonna do it the way other people i've said that already so i'm different maybe i'm just not the uh, online kind of people that come online and throw everybody under the bus. I have church tomorrow. It's been a heck of a day. Thank you all so much, Talia. Thank oh, you so yeah. much, uh, Remy. Thank you so much. Simple some people thing. have zero. Some people have zero loyalty. That's just their problem. God bless you. Uh, let's not be quick to throw blames at people. Dead. Let us always get the balance of our probabilities right, and let us have evidence.